And we are back. It is match day 12 now of the Nations League. Apologies if it is a little bit later than usual. A few of the boys were meeting up for the England game last night, which did turn out to be a little bit depressing once again. Still some positive signs, but for me, um, need to do a hell of a lot better if we're actually going to do anything either in the Nations League or at the World Cup. I'm not going to continue any more in England today. I don't feel it's worth it. I'm going to do a video after... The Nations League games are finished in the next couple of weeks, explaining what I think is wrong with the current England setup and how we can improve. As for the rest of the day, we're just going to go as normal, run through all the results from all the games from yesterday, and look ahead to match day 12, the first day of the repeated fixtures. And now everyone has played each other once so far. Uh, drop a like if you enjoy this series. Like always, let's get into match day 11's results. So... I did predict that it was going to be one of the hardest days we've had so far, and that did turn out to be the case as I put the results up now. Not too fussed about the top row. Um, I did think Fair Islands might get that win, so I'm not going to complain there. A little bit gutted to get the two results that I got right the wrong way around in terms of the scores. 2-0 when I went for 3-0, 3-0 when I went for 2-0. Uh, great performance from Ireland. I uh, was able to see some of that game. They absolutely destroyed Scotland. And fair play to them after a bad start. I suppose the rest of League B I'm not going to complain about. But the results in League A I thought were really surprising. Um, I didn't think the Germans wouldn't get the win against Hungary. And it turned out in the end that the Hungarians were the side that were unlucky not to get the win. Seven shots on target to Germany's one. Wales getting the late equaliser against Belgium as well. Um, I did say yesterday that it wouldn't surprise me to see Wales get the, some sort of a result, but I still expected Belgium to win. And then Poland pulling off a 2-2 draw, essentially with a reserve team of their own against the Dutch. Pretty much first team is a fantastic result for them. They will be a little bit disappointed though, because they were 2-0 up in that one. All in all, a match day score of 3, which is not great considering it was 10 games yesterday. But brings the tournament score up to 52. As always, I will leave the option for you to copy and paste down your match day score and tournament score so far. So please, as always, let me know how you're getting on and we'll move in to match day 12. So, like I said, this is the first day of repeated fixtures. So every single game on your screen today, we have already seen last week, just the reverse location. So we start with League D, Malta and San Marino. 2-0 uh, for Malta in the reverse fixture. So now that they're at home and are playing the weakest team in the competition, I am going to go for 3-0 this time for Malta there. On to League C, we have Northern Ireland currently sitting on the one point after a better performance against Kosovo despite defeat they come up against Cyprus who are still yet to score themselves nil nil in the reverse fixture I gotta back Northern Ireland I think to finally get a good result today I'm gonna go for two nil but I just you never know at the moment so I think I'm just gonna leave it like that the other game in the group I think is a little bit harder to call uh, Greece were able to get the 1-0 win away at Kosovo last time, but Kosovo have since put in two good performances against Northern Ireland and Cyprus. I still think Greece take it, like I say, tough one, but I'm going to go for 2-1 to Greece and leave that one there. On to the other group in League C, and we start with Georgia and Bulgaria. Georgia, the surprise package of the Nations League so far. Still the top scorers after Turkey only won 2-0 last night. So they go up against Bulgaria once again after winning 5-2 away of Bulgaria, which was a ridiculous result. Um, I'm not brave enough to predict such a massive scoreline again. So I'm just going to settle for a 3-1 win for Georgia there. But it would surprise me if Georgia didn't get the result after Bulgaria also failed to beat Gibraltar. So, and speaking of Gibraltar, they go up against North Macedonia. Uh, I think it was a 2-0 win for North Macedonia last time. So kind of like the Malta, San Marino. I'm then going to go for a 3-0 home win in that one. On to League B, we start with Norway and Sweden. And I would expect the Norwegians to win this one uh, after the way they've played their last couple of games and getting the result against Sweden last time. 
I'm going to go for 2-0. Uh, I think the Swedes need to buck their ideas up if they are going to do anything in their current division. So for now, I think the only real option I can go for is a 2-0 win for Norway. Other game is Slovenia against Serbia. Again, I feel like this one's slightly hard. Uh, Serbia did beat them 4-1 in the opening fixture, but Slovenia have just pulled off a 0-0 with 10 men against the leaders of the group in Norway. So now being at home to Serbia, I think it'll be a lot tighter. If they can sort their defence out like they did against Norway, then it'll be very half tough for Serbia to score. But I am just still going to edge it for Serbia and go for 2-1 for them. And then finally, we move on to League A. And we start with Spain against Czech Republic. And I really don't know on this one. It sounds obvious to just say Spain win this game. But the Czechs have been really good so far. They beat Switzerland. They drew with Spain at home. And despite losing 2-0 to Portugal, I thought put in a very good performance. So I don't want to easily say Spain are going to win. But... It would be wrong, in my opinion, not to say Spain win this one. It is the most likely result, in my opinion. But I'm just going to go for 2-0. I think if the Czechs put out a good performance, they could potentially even get a result there. But I do expect Spain to win overall. And finally, we have Switzerland against Portugal. Uh, Portugal have been probably my favourite team to watch so far. I think they've put in the best performances. And the Swiss are really yet to do anything of note. So I am just going to go for 3-0 to Portugal. It was 4-0 in Portugal. And if they put out any sort of performance like they have over the last couple of games, it'll be another easy win for them today. And that is going to be it. As always, I will put in the description of the video all of the fixtures for today. So you can just quickly copy and paste them down and let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. Uh, please consider subscribing if you are new around here. Drop a like if you enjoy this series. Ring the bell so you can get your predictions in before anyone else. And I will see you first thing tomorrow morning back at the usual time where I won't be so tired. Thank you very much for watching.